Hi, James Bentley with GE Aviation's Customer Technical Education Center in Cincinnati, Ohio. And for today's GENX Maintenance Minute, we're going to look at the proper installation of the extension and fillet panels on the 1B and 2B product lines. Okay, the first step in uh, installing the extension panel and the uh, fillet panel is we want to apply a light coat of anti-seize to each of our fasteners. Go ahead and take care of that. So there's 10 fasteners on the uh, extension panel and nine on the fillet panel. So make sure each one of those gets uh, a light coat of anti-seize on them. Okay, now that we applied anti-seize to all our bolts, we can go ahead and start installing the hardware. We just want to put the fasteners in finger tight to keep the panel in position. While we're installing the fasteners, a couple things I want to note that there are four extension panels, uh, two at the lower bifurcation on the left and right side and two at the 12 o'clock strut on the left and right side. And each of those has a torque sequence. Um, the torque sequence will not be the same for each panel. However, just follow the spirit of the, uh, the torque sequence method and your panel should seat correctly. Okay, now that we have all of our fasteners snugged down, uh, we can be begin our torque sequence. Now, I would like everybody to keep in mind that uh, the torque sequence is very similar for each of the extension panels, whether it's at the lower bifurcation or at the 12 o'clock strut, but they are not identical. So just follow the spirit of the cross pattern torques and your panel will be seated correctly. We'll go ahead and start the sequence. Okay, now our extension panel has been torqued in the proper sequence, and we're ready to go ahead and install the fillet panel. Okay, now that the fillet panel is in place, we have uh, all the fasteners snug down. We can go ahead and torque the fasteners in the correct sequence. Okay, your extension panel and your uh, fillet panel are now installed. Do keep in mind that some of the fasteners will sit proud. They do not sit flush with the panel. That's completely acceptable, okay? 
So there's no cause for concern there. They will not seat flush with the panel. Okay, that's it for installation um, and torquing of the extension and fillet panels on the GENX. Uh, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And from everybody here at GE Aviation, we just want to thank you for all that you're doing in maintaining the GENX power fleet. Until next time.